Hi, my name is Pete Mosley. Uh, I'm a writer and a creative business coach uh, based in the East Midlands of the UK in a market town called Loughborough. And I'm going to be presenting four instalments, four webinar instalments for you as part of this programme. The four instalments are all based around the themes within my book, The Art of Shouting Quietly. And I'll be exploring a number of things with you to do with the size and scope of your ambitions, the way you tell your story to communicate with the people that you really need to influence in order to be successful, to help you explore some of the platforms you'll need to use to get your message out there, and how to ask for help in a structured way so that you really get the help you need at the time you need it from the specialists and people and organisations that are best placed to help you. I'm really looking forward to working with you throughout this programme and I'm looking forward to seeing your progress. I'll keep an eye on things via the website and I'm sure the other tutors will feed things back to me. But meanwhile, enjoy all of the assignments. I look forward to seeing the results. This first short webinar is titled, How Big Is Your World? It's a literal and metaphorical question really, to do with both the size and scope of your ambitions and also to do with your geography. Where in the world will you need to travel? and where in the world will you need your voice to be heard. This is the first of four sessions based on the book The Art of Shouting Quietly. Each session is themed around different sections of the book and this first session is How big is your world? It's an interesting question. I think the question operates on both a literal and a metaphorical level. But it's really about this. Where in the world do you want your voice to be heard? And if you think about it, that works on several different levels. Where do you want people to find out about what you're doing? Where do you want to travel yourself to research or study other things that support what you're doing? And where do you want to go? Where do you want to take this idea? How ambitious are you in terms of promoting your work? So let's just think about this one topic at a time. How bold are your ambitions for yourself and your ideas? Are you really out in the stretch zone with this? Are you really being as courageous as you could be about it? Or are you maybe being a little bit self-effacing about it, not telling as many people as you should be at this point in time? Think seriously about this, because most of us really need to push ourselves from time to time to get the reach that we need to promote ourselves and our ideas. Often it's not the quality of our work that holds us back, but this quality of courage and ambition. And what I say to people is, is you need to be bold, you need to aim high, because if you don't aim high, you just kind of muddle along. If you really aspire to be a mover, a shaker, a connector, then you do need to aim high. You do need to be talking to lots of people. You do need to be building relationships with lots of people. And we'll keep coming back to those themes as we move through these four sections, these four short webinars. Do you want to spread your ideas and your influence locally, regionally, nationally or globally? Now a lot of this depends on where you live and how good the communications are locally but think seriously about your idea and where you want to apply it. Is it truly just a local thing that operates in your county or your state? Is it regional? Does it connect people and places together? Is it a national project that encompasses stuff in your country of residence? Or does it resonate right across the world? Are these global themes that you're thinking about and planning for? Because you need to allocate your energy and your resources appropriately 
depending on which of those things your project is really all about. How far do you personally need to travel to promote your message? We can communicate in all sorts of different ways these days. We can use social media to get messages around the globe really quickly. I always remember when the airliner landed in the Hudson River in New York, finding out that somebody had uh, heard it on the news in New Zealand, the radio news in New Zealand, uh, before the emergency services had even reached the scene of the accident, because somebody had tweeted a photograph. And that made me think, gosh, you know, if you can move information around the planet that quickly, you know, do we really need to be boarding airliners to spread the message about our world and our work? But actually, sometimes there is no replacement for face-to-face -face contact with the people you want to work with or promote your message towards. But in an age where we need to be responsible about how we travel, it does require some quite serious thought, I think. Where in the world do you need to go to research and develop your ideas? Because, you know, good ideas are okay, but sometimes good ideas get better if we feed them. And what do we need to study and who do we need to talk to? in order to get all of the resources we need to make our ideas the very best that we can. And that it might involve some travel for you. It will certainly involve really extensive research to get your hands on all the facts and figures that you need. And you need to travel to meet the people who will help you develop and spread your ideas. A strong theme that's going to come out through these webinars is the need to build really good quality relationships. And sometimes that can only be done face to face. Can you do any of this virtually via video, Skype or live webinars perhaps? Being able to give somebody a link that they can follow when they're online that gives them access to you or a webinar session or something that you've pre-recorded on YouTube, of course, enables you to transmit your message across a huge geographical area. It's accessible anywhere that people have internet connections. So that could be a really efficient way for you to get the word out, for your world effectively to become bigger. There's an assignment that goes with this and it's really about stretching your thinking in all of these directions. First of all, you need to go to the book, the e-book that you've been sent and read the chapter 6 on page 84. And you'll also have been sent um, a print outable handout, the How Big Is Your World handout, um, and you'll need that to complete the exercise. You could also take a map or, or even a globe and begin to use that to extend your thinking about how you want to reach out with this. Begin to identify countries or places where you need to be or where your message needs to be. Or you can do that as a mind map that shows places and people and organisations that you need to contact, that you need to give the information about your ambitions and about your projects too. Here's the handout. Now I've deliberately got an illustration here that shows our planet in the centre of it and also shows, you know, um, Saturn, it shows a little spacecraft, it shows other planets in the solar system. And I'd like you to use that as a metaphor for your thinking, you know. And if you think about it, really, there are people that are designers, creative people, scientists today, who are coming up with ideas that 
don't just resonate on our planet, but are going to travel through and are traveling through the solar system to other planets where there may even be communities in the future. Will any of your thinking travel that far? It's important to visualize these things. At the end of every installment, um, I'd like to encourage you to complete this personal action plan. The rules for the plan are, are very, very simple. Um, once you've done your thinking, break the action down into bite-sized chunks, uh, small steps that you can take easily. Um, jot down each individual piece of action to be taken. Set yourself a target for the date by which you'd like to have it done. Uh, and make some notes about how you're going to do it and who can help you along the way. Um, Keep a hold of these action plans. You're able to download this pro forma each time you need to use it. Uh, and over time, you'll build up a record of all of your goals and targets and how well you've moved towards achieving them.